Today is Thursday, April 9th, 2020. It's about 5 p.m. Mountain time. Sorry, TC. What are you doing? What are you up to? Do you want to come out? TC had a quiet week this week, his 36th week with us, which is about nine months. It's hard to believe he's been with us that long. He was content within his enclosure. He was resting quietly in his humidity hide or on his ledges when he should have been resting. And during the times when it would be normal for him to be active, he was out casually exploring his enclosure and utilizing his enclosure furnishings, but he wasn't restless and he didn't seek to come out this week. On Saturday, April 11th, I introduced him to a new exercise space. Now these are items that he has never seen before. It's simply a wooden bench that we use to sit on, that the dogs sit on, that we use for regular things you would use a bench for. And then we have two logs that we leave sitting next to it that we're able to securely put on top of the bench and run through the handles of the bench when we want to allow the snakes out to exercise on it. TC had never been on this before. He had never seen it before. And so I started out by bringing him out of his enclosure and putting him on the normal snake tree, an exercise space that he's been on many, many times. And after he had been on that for maybe 20 minutes or so and came off on his own and started climbing down on the table that is next to the snake tree, I picked him up and I brought him over and set him on this exercise station, which again was brand new to him. And he was cautious at first. There were times when he froze. There were times when he looked like he wanted to get away from it and climb off of it. And then after a few minutes on it, he started to explore it. And I think that overall for his first time, it went well. I'm going to speed up to twice the normal speed some of this footage of him exploring the new space and then I will slow it back down to normal speed at the end to wrap things up. Welcome back to normal speed now. After several minutes of exploring the bench and the logs, what we're calling one of our exercise spaces, TC got to the end and he started smelling the air. And then what you'll see in this next clip is he heads over towards that door and he starts to try to climb up the side of the door and he wraps himself around the handle. And I found that quite interesting because that is his room. 
That is the room that his enclosure is in, and that's the room that he's loose in quite a bit. So I'm not sure if he actually recognized that that was his space, that that was his room, if he smelled familiar scents in that room, or why he started doing this behavior. But I definitely took it as a sign that it was time to end his exercise session to get TC and return him to his normal living space, back to his enclosure where he could rest and feel comfortable. Of course, this also just could have been coincidental that he found the, the door and the door handle something convenient to climb on. Now you'll see here when I go to pick him up, like I've said in past videos, that I don't reach for his head or his tail. I pick him up in the middle and then I just wait and I see if he's going to climb off of the door on his own. And I don't want to have to wrench him off of that door handle. And so I just wait and allow him to disengage his tail from the door handle on his own. And as you'll see, he's climbing up my arm and he's constricting around it as he climbs. This behavior used to make me nervous when I first met TC, but I've come to realize now that this is just normal behavior when he's climbing. It's a way that he anchors himself onto things so that he feels secure and so that he prevents himself from falling. And now I don't worry about this behavior at all. It's something that I see him do on inanimate objects when he climbs, and he also does it on my arm when he's climbing up my arm. I just walk him back into his room and I stand next to his normal enclosure. And then he has the choice and control of whether to go in or stay out and he immediately chooses that he wants to go back in his enclosure. So you'll see that he quietly and calmly disengages from my arm and goes back into his enclosure. He starts to go towards the right end, which is normally where he goes every time he re-enters his enclosure, but he turns around and comes back. And I wasn't sure at first if maybe he actually was going to come back out but he didn't. He went over to his new humid hide, which he's had two weeks now, which he spends a lot of time in and on. He really seems to like it. And he rests on that. And then ultimately he ends up climbing up and getting on one of his shelves.